Bonjour everyone, Pentuf here today for a new video in which we are going to take a look at something that could cause World of Tank Blitz to go extinct, aka Tank Company. Let me do a quick recap of what's happening currently into the mobile tank gaming community. Basically right now, the only game that is literally rolling is World of Tank Blitz. Because World of Tank have been here for a very long time. When they launched World of Tank Blitz, they knew they already had players from World of Tank PC that will come. And all of those factors combined made it to the point that there is only one game when we talk about playing tanks on mobile. And the name of the game is World of Tank Blitz. Of course, we can see on the App Store, Android Store, whatever store your uh, your mobile phone has access to, that we have multiple knocks off of this game. But not a single one made it to the top to be a real contester to World of Tank Blitz. And this is about to change. Maybe that if you're new to the channel, I need to do a quick recap. But basically, there is a game that was announced one year ago called Tank Company which is literally a copy paste of World of Tank PC into mobile. So maybe that right now you're thinking, well, you're telling me that we have a copy paste of World of Tank PC in, World of, in mobile game that is coming, right? Yes, but is, isn't it already the case with World of Tank Blitz? No, no, no. Why? Because this is a 7 versus 7 game that, you currently, uh, that you're currently watching. But the game that is coming is a 15 versus 15 player. It's closer to World of Tank PC than World of Tank Blitz is to World of Tank PC. Which means that a new company managed to make what seems at first to be a better version of World of Tank PC on, War, uh, on World of Tank Blitz. No, on mobile. So what does it tell us? It tells us that they are trying to attract the use customers or the regular customers of wargaming is it gonna work we will find out pretty soon because obviously when the game launches there is going to be a new campaign etc but for the people that liked world of tank blitz back in the good old days when the game was still uh not a pay to win one i think you might have a new choice here with tank company and I need to tell you something currently right now. This video is not sponsored in any ways by Tank Company. No, the point of that video is to understand if my community is going to play or not Tank Company to the point that they will just simply stop playing World of Tank Blitz. So I'm asking the question straight. Are you guys going to leave World of Tank Blitz in order to play Tank Company only when it's out and it's coming pretty soon. The cool thing is, Tank Company is going to give some challenge to World of Tank Blitz. Because obviously, with the developer teams that are going to fight each other, it's going to be which game does the most for the players, which game improves the most on design, graphics, tanks being implemented, etc, etc. And obviously, if it's creating competition, it means that Wargaming will have, they will not have the choice, they will have to change their, um, their marketing. They can't allow themselves to keep scamming players with crates and these kind of things, except if Tank Company does the same. For the moment, we do not have any information on that, so I'm not gonna advance. All I can tell you is that at the beginning of the game, because we have access to that as a YouTuber, at the beginning of the game, the offers in Tank Company are definitely going to be better than the one we have in World of Tank Blitz. But it's logic, it's a new game, they want to have a faithful audience, and the best way to get a faithful audience is to obviously either give them free stuff, or really, really not that expensive stuff. So yeah, you're gonna have to prepare yourself for this, and hopefully, if you're among the first one to play, you're gonna have plenty of premiums totally for free in order to start your game correctly. Now, what are the other differences between Tank Company and World of Tank Blitz? One of the first is that the Yak Panza E100 from Tank Company is different than the one we have in World of Tank Blitz. But you already saw that because I did a video on it. And it's the case for multiple tanks that will be different from World of Tank Blitz to Tank Company, which is a good thing because in the end we'll make everyone play both games. For example, the IS-7 that we have in Blitz is not the same as the IS-7 we are going to get in Tank Company. Yes, in terms 
terms of design, both tanks are the same, but in terms of statistics, not at all. And this is the kind of things that makes both of the games relevant. And if they share equally the market parts, I think that they can sustain both of them. Now I'm going to focus a little bit on that T125 in order not to die because I'm in a life battle. Derp, see ya, comrade. And we are going to try to get to the T123 from the back. Uh, what are all the differences that I forgot to mention? Clan Wars. Uh, this is a huge boost for Tank Company, in my opinion. Tank Company is definitely more into focusing on the gameplay, like uh, gameplay with teammates, clan, etc., rather than what World of Tank PC is currently doing. And it's going to be a whole change, because obviously... The problem, and we have been asking for that for years, we asked Wargaming, like, God damn it! stop giving us some shitty things like those uh, rating marks for the tanks. We don't care, that's not what we want. What we want is being able to play Clan Wars to unlock tier 10 tanks totally for free just by grinding, even if it means grinding hard, but at least gives us a purpose that is different than just playing a tier 1 tier 2, tier 3, tier 4, etc, etc, to tier 10. And after, when you're done having all the tanks, like it's my case, you're just thinking, what next? What next? We don't have anything else to do. Yes, there is tournament. I agree with you. But honestly, uh, when you have something that is called a buzzy life, not saying life, because you can, uh, you can be in esports and have a life, but a really buzzy life, you don't have time for that. You do not have time for that. So maybe that if... World of Tank Blitz tried to evolve in order to give us something that could allow players with less time to still be competitive and therefore give us a new goal. Maybe that the game will sustain, but it's already the case in Tank Company. If they don't copy past what Tank Company did, or at least try to find their original version of what Tank Company is going to be, ah, it's pretty tough. But on the other side, Tank Company is a new game, whereas World of Tank Blitz has been here for at least eight years by now. Which means that graphically talking, it's a no match for World of Tank Blitz, for multiple uh, gameplay experiences, uh, balances, changes, etc. World of Tank Blitz has more bottle, which means that maybe that when Tank Company will be out, it's going to be a shittier version of World of Tank Blitz. For now, it's purely expectations, as we can't really tell exactly what the game is going to turn out. We'll have to wait for it to be released in order to know, but do not worry. I can tell you that every single World of Tank Blitz YouTuber is going to cover that thing, because it's the major event of that year for us, and obviously it's great to be able to compare both games. So in the future, guys, you can expect a shit ton of tank companies videos because well it's part of what we are gonna be now we are not gonna be only a world of tank blitz youtuber we are also going to be tank company youtuber and it's for the best because at least we'll be able to compare games etc and it's an awesome feature in my opinion now we are gonna finish that game trying to play the fv4202 correctly because obviously if i keep talking i'm probably gonna get wrecked there is this e100 here this 60 tp there <sighs> everyone is camping god damn and nobody tried to help me on that poor e100 he doesn't have okay he, he, he did have the the penetration i'm i'm quite shocked about that i just locked myself did i it's going to be boring so What's going to be your choice? Tank Company, that you're seeing on screen right now, or World of Tank Blitz, that you've been using for eight years. Personally, my choice is made, I'll play both, and I'm kind of excited to see that, well, we have some different and cool looking tank in both games, and I also encourage you to play both, because every single game mobile game, tank game, has its own specificities that will either make you enjoy it or not. I don't have anything else to say, I'm just gonna leave you with the trailer because of it, and hopefully I'm gonna see you soon for a new video. Bentouf, out.